is the area which is at the front lines and along this entire stretch there is deployment of tanks artillery and troops now the question is being asked what now because till now all out offensive has not taken place israel has said that it will go all out it will go on ground it will go uh, in air and as well as through its naval power air strikes have been continuing continuously through the days since saturday that has been happening but what's the delay now one factor is that while the air strikes are on the effort is to dismantle as many as possible of hamas's uh, installations there it's uh, places where it uh, hamas terrorists are hiding from where they are attacking uh, israel one effort is to destroy as many of them as possible the second effort is to get information about the tunnels about the layout about how the hostages can be taken out in case there is a ground assault or even before that another factor was that the civilians who are stuck in gaza can be taken out now they have been asked to move from north of gaza to south of gaza so that they are safe now hamas is saying that they will not move in fact idf has claimed that uh, hamas has put out uh, road blocks so that the civilians cannot cross there was an explosion which hamas blamed on idf but idf categorically denied that it had anything to do uh, with that explosion which killed people in convoys including children and women who were trying to go to south of gaza as directed by idf now apart from these military uh, factors there are political factors the, it is also uh, uh, being reported by the local media that there are some differences whether uh, when uh, this assault all out assault should be uh, uh, launched so uh, the timing is yet not so sure there is one uh, report which says that because it was so cloudy and the weather was not good the pilots might have had some problem in uh, launching air strikes and drones might have had problems there is another about how the emergency government uh, in the emergency government there is some difference regarding this time apart from that there is also a diplomatic offensive which is on the uh, the secretary of state antony blinken is uh, was on a uh, on a tour of all the arab nations he had come to israel first then he went on to uh, uh, qatar he went to jordan he went to uh, uh, even uh, uh, all, all these leaders talking about how to not let this strife widen there is also report that the foreign nationals will be taken out through the rafa pass where egypt, uh, uh, through egypt now egypt has demanded that uh, it be allowed to take some aid into gaza because uh, israel has has laid a siege to gaza and most of the things are not going in there like uh, fuel and water and medical aid supplies these are not going in there so it has requested that but in the meanwhile the foreign uh, uh, nationals might be taken out of egypt if uh, israel agree, agrees to uh, to that uh, factor but till now there is no humanitarian corridor which has been considered hostages are still not back and apart from that now there is a wait of what will happen next is the attack imminent will it happen any moment or will it take time so these are the factors different factors which are there it might happen in a few hours time or it might take some more time now what would happen to the hostages because hamas has already claimed that third in initially 13 and later nine hostages were killed in uh, american air strike so is that also a factor where uh, because of which the ground assault is not being laid now if the ground assault uh, goes ahead the ground assault will not be very easy because it is an old city there are tunnels and we, uh, we have seen this information uh, or disinformation war also happening where uh, hamas has said that it uh, how it will attack the ground forces who come inside so these are the different layers of a war and today's modern wars it is definite that there would also be wars on uh, uh, disinformation and misinformation war which also we are uh, seeing so ground assault air assault and naval assault will take place simultaneously as soon as a decision about this is reached in southern israel near frontier lines kadambari sharma for ndtv